The Radiant tool was developed to really address the growth in the unconventional market, primarily in, the, in North America in particular. Um, in that area we've got uh, a lot of wells being drilled. Um, the wells are uh, marginal as far as the economics are concerned. They're, they're, they don't, the operators don't have a lot of money to spend um, and they're rather reluctant to spend a lot of money on formation evaluation uh, measurements. Um, but at the same time, uh, they're having a hard time placing the wells in the right place in the reservoirs um, because they're running on just basic measurements like a, just a gamma ray sensor. Um, so in order to address that, uh, we thought we would bring in uh, an azimuthal sensor, which the Radian is, um, along with a built-in inclinometer. And that provides two things. It, it, says, it provides um, detailed information about the surrounding formations from the azimuthal gamma ray images, so the operator has a much better idea where they are geologically. Um, and it also helps them keep track of where the well path itself is. You know, the small changes in the well trajectory can have an impact later on uh, completion designs and things like that. Um, so having the two things together, the gamma ray, the azimuthal gamma ray and the inclination measurement, um, gives the operators a much better idea about where they are in the structure uh, and helps them to place the well more precisely in the sweet spot in, the, in those unconventional wells. We have experience with several customers in North America. Um, with one in particular, uh, they, were, they were having some uh, difficulty in understanding where the wells that they were drilling were placed, geologically speaking. Um, they're trying to correlate one well with another in the TVD, the vertical uh, space, and that was proving difficult for them. Uh, they also had some um, un, uh, unusual gamma ray responses that they were seeing on their traditional uh, gamma ray measurements, uh, which they didn't really understand very well. Um, so they ran the radian tool and it did two things for them. It, 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 first of all, it showed up a lot more detail about the structure that they were going through. So whereas they previously had this zone, uh, which they just called the noisy zone, where they saw a lot of variation in the gamma ray without really understanding why, uh, with the azimuthal gamma ray they were able to, to see a lot of details in the, in the local dip structure that was in the, in the reservoir. So that helped to clarify you know, a, a bit more about the geol geological structure. Um, the continuous inclination that comes from the tool uh, also helped them to refine the position of the well. The, the traditional method for surveying a well is to take one survey maybe every 90 feet or so every time they make a connection. Uh, with the radian continuous inclination you're getting just that, you're getting continuous measurements of inclination all the way down the well. Um, and that refines the position of the well, that, that feeds into the calculation of the vertical depth. Uh, and helps them to better understand exactly where they are vertically. Um, and what that did was then allow them to correlate much more closely with the other wells in the, in the, in the surrounding area. 